Lads, I am worried. History is repeating itself at Chelsea Football Club again. Not only are we about to appoint another failure, but another manager who isn't good enough for Chelsea. We've already tried before to appoint a manager from a rival club, and we know how that ended with Rafa Benitez. But this time, it's worse than that. This time, that rival is Tottenham. Maurizio Pochettino is set to become Chelsea's new manager. He is the current favourite in the running of a horrific shortlist to be Chelsea's new manager. Proven winners like Luis Enrique have been declared not good enough and been out of the game for too long. He's been in the game more recently than Mauricio Pochettino, albeit international management, but Chelsea are worried that this is a problem, worried that his only success has ever come in Spain. But they are considering Mauricio Pochettino, whose only success has scraped in France. He failed to win the league one year of his two at PSG. He failed in Europe with PSG. The reason behind his sacking was because of how bad PSG performed in Europe with the best team. He failed at Tottenham to win the league. In a two-horse race, he managed to finish third because he turned up to Stamford Bridge, bottled it and cried in the dressing room when he realised that Chelsea had ended his hopes of winning and what he should have achieved with Tottenham Hotspur. He got them to the Champions League final because Lucas Moura pulled him through when he'd failed to set his team up correctly against Ajax. Lucas Moura performed amazingly, pulled them through into the final, and he drops him. His most informed player at that time, and he dropped him for the Champions League final. Mauricio Pochettino is what is more commonly known as, as a bottle job. That's why he is perfect for Tottenham Hotspur, who are also more commonly known as bottle jobs. They go hand in hand. That is why when a proven winner like Antonio Conte rocks up at Tottenham and tells them that things will never change unless they change their ways completely and change the football club, that is why when he told them home truths, Daniel Levy decided to sack him. And not only that, the fans then cried out for Pochettino to return home. Pochettino is their special one, and he has won nothing with them. And that is why Pochettino is not good enough for Chelsea, because that is his level, Tottenham. Chelsea are currently having their worst ever season in my memory, and they will end up just like Tottenham this year with no trophies. Maurizio Pochettino is about to be clear late capital and Todd Bowley's next mistake. This is a horrific decision we are currently looking at with Chelsea. I'm worried for us Chelsea fans. I really am. Because somehow they have come to the conclusion that a manager like Nagelsmann, who's young with a lot of promise and talked about in the very highest regard with an unbelievable win ratio and success ratio with his teams and achieving above what they expected is considered not good enough for the Chelsea job. But a man who has consistently failed at higher levels than Nagelsmann is considered good enough for Chelsea Football Club. This is the problem with Todd Bowley, his lack of experience, his lack of knowledge about football, and the same with Clear Lake Capital, and the same with the advisors who he has employed in respectable positions at Chelsea Football Club. They just don't ultimately understand what it is to be Chelsea. They are about to show that they just don't get it. When we appointed Rafa Benitez, Todd Bowley probably didn't even know who Chelsea were, probably hadn't even watched football. Rafa Benitez had had great success in Spain with Valencia. He won La Liga twice when Real Madrid and Barcelona were ultimately Real Madrid in their Galactico era and Barcelona with the likes of Ronaldinho and players of that calibre. Rafa Benitez was able to achieve success in Spain with Valencia. He moves to Liverpool, a mid-table Premier League time at side at the time, 
and he wins European trophies with them. Rafa Benitez, as much as it pains me to say it, is a good manager. A far better manager than Mauricio Pochettino. And look how that ended for him. We appointed, the at that time when Rafa was manager of Liverpool, arguably Chelsea and Liverpool were our biggest rivals. Liverpool's biggest rivals at the time were probably Chelsea. We were getting in the way of them. And the same with Liverpool and Chelsea. Liverpool would get in the way of us. We didn't like each other. That was probably the height of our rivalry. And Rafa was at the helm for Liverpool. And we appointed him. And look what happened. He was destined to fail at Chelsea Football Club. No matter what happened, it was never going to end well for Rafa Benitez. He was booed regularly. It was one of the worst times I can remember as a Chelsea fan. Probably almost on par with this season. We were horrific in the league. We managed to win the Europa League, but probably because of the squad and what they'd achieved in the prior season. Rafa Benitez ultimately is a better manager than what Maurizio Pochettino will probably ever be. And look what happened. But unfortunately, Clear Lake Capital and Todd Bowley's advisors, who are working at Chelsea Football Club in sport director role, director of football, director of sport, recruitment, all these roles, they don't understand what happened then because they weren't there to see it. Because unfortunately, all the people that were there to see what happened when we recruited a manager from a rival, a, albeit a smaller rival to us now than Tottenham, it went horrifically wrong and it ended in tears. Or they're all gone. Todd Bowley sacked every single one of them from Chelsea Football Club. The one player left is probably as Piliqueta, and he probably actually quite liked it when Rafa Benitez was there because Rafa Benitez actually favoured as Piliqueta compared to a lot of other players at Chelsea Football Club because of the Spanish link. And ultimately, he probably helped as Piliqueta go on to have the career that he did at Chelsea Football Club. And ultimately, the only player that is there and will remember what the atmosphere was like with Rafa is Azpi. And I can't see him saying anything bad about what it took to sign or what it meant to sign a rival, albeit a manager. Managers are almost allowed to manage both sides. Rafa Benitez doesn't care who he manages. He managed Everton when he was a Liverpool hero. Pochettino is considering managing Chelsea when he's Tottenham's hero. And they're in crisis at the moment over at Tottenham. Almost worse than Chelsea. Because Chelsea have been in these situations and turned it around. Tottenham haven't. Tottenham have just been have just displayed one of the worst performances I've ever seen in the Premier League at the weekend. And their hero, Mauricio Pochettino, does not even want the job. He doesn't even want to be considered for it. He knows that Chelsea is a step up. And he knows that he would be fortunate. And that's what concerns me with Todd Bowley and his decisions. Because Graham Potter was fortunate to be the Chelsea manager. Frank Lampard is fortunate to be the Chelsea manager at this current moment in time. And Frank Lampard is adored by every single Chelsea fan. Absolutely adored. I almost feel sorry for Frank at how impossible his task was. Or is still because it's not finished. He's still got to finish the season and motivate these players to get through these last games. And I'm not sure that will be possible. So I almost feel sorry for Frank because he's out of his depth and it's an impossible task. And Todd Bowley has almost caused this to happen. And now another manager, Pochettino, is about to be fortunate as well to potentially be Chelsea's new manager. And what makes this even worse is that Pochettino is on a short list with other managers who would be incredibly lucky and incredibly fortunate to become Chelsea's new manager. They haven't earned it. We're looking at the inexperienced Vincent Company, albeit what he has achieved with Burnley on a limited budget is unbelievable. But he's only proven himself in the championship. Vincent Company is miles away from the Chelsea job. Or, in fact, he should be. But he's not. He's on the shortlist. Ange Postacoglu is apparently on the shortlist. 
don't get me wrong, he plays fantastic football in Scotland. He has three tests a season, and that is against Rangers. Every other game is a walk in the park, quite literally. A walk in Celtic Park. What is going on? Ange Postacoglu should never be considered for the Chelsea job. And apparently the other one is the River Plate manager, who's never even managed in Europe. He hasn't even come over here, or as far as I'm aware, he hasn't exactly got a European pedigree. He may have started in Europe and gone to Argentina. Either way, he should not be considered for the Chelsea job. Managers that should be considered for the Chelsea job should be household names in the footballing world. Unfortunately, on that shortlist, Mauricio Pochettino is the only one that is of an okay level. But unfortunately, that seems to be Chelsea's current level. It seems to be where Todd Bowley accepts Chelsea Football Club to be. A club that less than two years ago won the Champions League. And now we are staring mediocrity in the face once again for a prolonged period of time because we're about to appoint Maurizio, or we're not, the fans aren't, believe me, because the fans will make their voices heard. But we are about to have another failure, another fortunate manager at the helm of Chelsea Football Club. And the worst thing about this, as Chelsea fans, is we will back the manager. We will have to back Chelsea's manager because that is almost the most important person at Chelsea Football Club. When that manager is in charge, they are the connection between the players and the fans. They are the ones that come out in a press conference and a pre-match press conference every week and answer the questions that the fans want to hear put to them by the journalists. They are the link. And we will back him no matter what happens because that's what we'll do. But it will hurt us as Chelsea fans. He cannot... And we cannot allow this to happen. Because Todd Bowley is so incredibly out of his depth at the moment and has, has literally gone on American TV to admit that he's made mistakes. But he won't say what they are because there's probably too many and he probably wasn't allowed that much of a time slot on TV. But if Todd Bowley and Clear Lake Capital get this one wrong and it really doesn't work out, then I genuinely think by this time next season... There will be protests, not for the manager to leave, but for Bowley to leave Chelsea Football Club. Within a two-year period, the fans will want him out. Even though the guy is trying, he is incredibly, incredibly miseducated, misunderstood, lacks a huge amount of experience when it comes to football, and just doesn't get it. And more, most importantly, just doesn't get Chelsea. He doesn't understand, at this moment in time, how football works. That's why Todd Bowley finds it acceptable to spend money, monetary figures, mon monetary amounts on players that don't warrant that. Todd Bowley is obsessed with hype. Todd Bowley wants the next best thing every single time. Hence the amount of money he was willing to spend on Enzo Fernandez, who literally played less than half a season in, Port in Portugal. Okay, he doesn't quite grasp what consistency is. The money he spent on Enzo Fernandez could have bought him world-class players who have proven high, the highest levels of consistency over and over again. But Todd Bowley always wants the next best thing, the most popular thing. But then when it comes to a manager, he wants Pochettino, who hasn't even been managing recently. At least Graham Potter, when he got in, there was a bit of hype around him. And he was doing okay, but it proved that he'd be out of his depth. Pochettino is another manager who st would start in a position further back than where Graham Potter was. Graham Potter took over Chelsea Football Club in the top four. Mauricio Pochettino will take over Chelsea Football Club without European football and ultimately a mid-table Premier League team. His climb will have to be far more... And a far greater challenge than what Graham Potter ever, ever, ever faced. And he has already proven time and time again that he has failed with what he's had in front of him. 
Pochettino cannot be Chelsea Football Club's next manager. Chelsea Football Club have to make the right decision this time round. Chelsea's managerial vacancy is one that needs to be addressed and it needs to be addressed correctly to fix the problems within the squad. The squad currently has no winners. We lack everything we once had. We have no fight, no desire, no hunger. And by appointing a bottle job like Maurizio Pochettino, those problems and issues and toxicity that lies around Chelsea Football Club and the squad at the moment in time will not disappear. They will grow far greater and become even harder to remove because it stains the club. It stains the squad. It runs down. It trickles down from the hierarchy, from the players that are starting every game to the youth players that are training with the squad. That has to go. These players have to come in and at the beginning of pre-season with a proven winner in charge of them to change what has become acceptable at Chelsea Football Club in the last year. It has to change. These problems will not be solved if we appoint a failure, a proven failure like Maurizio Pochettino. He cannot be Chelsea Football Club's next manager. I am extremely, extremely worried about what is going on at Chelsea Football Club. And Chelsea fans, once again, I'm calling on us to make our voices heard and to tell Todd Bowley and Clear Lake Capital that this will end in tears and will be another costly disaster because Pochettino will not be allowed as much time by Chelsea fans as Graham Potter if it all goes wrong. Believe me, he will not. The only manager that has ever been allowed a large amount of time when things haven't gone well is Frank Lampard because of who he was. When they haven't got anything to back it up with, Frank is the only one. That's why it was accepted when Frank Lampard got the job this time round. I have no doubt that Todd Bowley wants the best for Chelsea Football Club, but unfortunately, he just doesn't understand it at the moment. And the only way I believe that Todd Bowley will eventually get what it means to be Chelsea is to set up and be in the meetings with the supporters trust and the pitch owners and the season ticket holders that go every single week and he will have to get to know and learn the club. On a much smaller scale, we have seen football novices like Rob McElhenney and Ryan Reynolds do that at Wrexham, merge with the fans, albeit the club is on a much smaller scale and they are able to do that, but they have learnt the club, they know what it means to be Wrexham. They are in almost an identical boat to Todd Bowley. And they have proven and taken it in and are now adored by that football club. Todd Bowley is doing everything wrong. Albeit we are on a far, far greater scale than Wrexham. But unfortunately our owners are almost were almost in an identical place. And one is doing everything the right way and one is currently doing everything the wrong way. Hash, messy, chaotic. I don't know what's going on at Chelsea Football Club. I'm incredibly concerned. I'm worried. There is absolutely no way that a Tottenham manager, a Tottenham failure, should be in charge of Chelsea Football Club. A man who is adored by Tottenham Hotspur should not be in charge of Chelsea Football Club. I'm hearing rumours that they think Harry Kane might come to Chelsea because of his links with Pochettino. He won't. If Chelsea Football Club aren't in Europe, there is no reason for Harry Kane to move across London when his beloved Tottenham Hotspur are also not in Europe or they're in the Europa League. I don't know what's going on. I'm worried, Chelsea fans. Let me know what you have to say. Put it in the comments below. We're trying to grow the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one when we have more of an idea what's going on with Chelsea. But for now... Keep the blue flag flying high.